All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is jack up the vehicle. We're gonna get it all four wheels off the ground using two floor jacks. Uh, I bought my floor jacks at Harbor Freight. I bought my jack stands on Amazon. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, once I get it jacked up, I'll get a good shot under the car of where the jack points are. It's a little harder to do when it's on the ground, but once I get it lifted, I'll show you where the jack points are. You'll notice that in the front, since we're gonna be working in the front, I have to remove a skid plate and uh, to get some work done under there. So I don't want my jack coming in from the front or I'll be working around it the whole time. So I've got it coming in from the side here. And I've also got it angled in such a way that it's not blocking where my floor jack needs to go right here. So I get it coming in at an angle. Once I get it off the ground, I'll get a good shot of that for you. So let's get started. Okay, so there's our jack point. We're looking in from the passenger side. There's my tire. There's my door. My jack, st jack stand. So there's our jack point right there. So now that we have the front up on jack stands and the jack stands are now holding the weight of the car, we have let down our jack to give several inches of gap between it and the jack point so that when we jack up the back of the car, the front of the car is gonna come down a little. So that's why we wanna have some gap between our jack and our jack point. And then once we get the car on all four jack stands, then we'll jack our front jack up again to where it's just barely touching the jack point for safety. So we're gonna jack up the back right now. So our jack point in the back is real easy. It's this tow hook that's right here. And uh, the thing about it is you're gonna need a jack that has a decent reach uh, to handle this one. So we just put it right on that tow hook. Okay, so now that the vehicle is supported by all four jacks, I want this back jack to be just touching the jack point so that if either of those jacks failed, either of those jack stands failed, this would be right there to get it. The front, remember, we lowered down a few inches to account for the front going down when the back came up. So now that it's where it's gonna stay, now I wanna reposition my jack on the jack point up here. And then I wanna go ahead and touch that jack point again so that if either of these front jack stands failed, the jack would already be right in place to not allow it to move. So we're, we're there. We got all of our jack stands and jacks in place. 